Right, so in today's video, we're gonna be using liquid iron to green up the lawn. Now you can see, I'm already starting with a fairly green lawn, but that doesn't mean that I can't use liquid iron to actually green it up even more. So you can use liquid iron for a few different things. The first of which is to actually kill moss in your lawn. What iron will do is it'll dehydrate the moss, it'll turn it black, and then you'll be able to rake all of that dead moss out of your lawn. And that's only really the case when we're talking about maybe, you know, early spring when the soil's quite moist or late into the autumn too, because moss needs that moist environment to really start to thrive. And when it's the height of summer, like it is now, the weather's lovely today and has been for, you know, the past week or so, then moss isn't really an issue. And the second reason you can use liquid iron is to give your lawn a really dark green color. Now iron comes in most summer fertilizers and you can see this lawn has been fertilized recently so it's got quite a decent color but what i want to do today is i want to see how green i can actually make it by using liquid iron and when you actually apply iron to your lawn it promotes the production of chlorophyll in the plant the chlorophyll is essentially what is determining sort of the pigment of the grass blade itself so the more iron you use the darker the lawn is going to become now in the past when I've used liquid iron, I've used the Evergreen Moss Kill Liquid. And this is, you know, advertised to actually kill moss, but what it is is highly concentrated iron. And by putting it down into your lawn, as well as killing the moss, like I've just said earlier, it'll actually green it up too. However, I'm not gonna be putting this product onto my lawn today to green it up. And the reason behind that is the fact that this contains nitrogen. And what nitrogen is used for in your lawn is to promote healthy development. So what it'll do is it'll give you grass that boosts the growth. However, like I said before, I've just recently put an application of fertilizer down onto the grass. So I don't want to be putting any more nitrogen into the soil. So instead, I want to go with a product that is just purely iron. And that's where this product comes into play. So this is A1 Lawns Soluble Iron. And you can dissolve this into a watering can or a knapsack sprayer and actually apply the iron to your lawn that way. So in terms of how much you need to put onto your lawn, you can see you need to put between two and a half to five grams per meter squared onto your lawn. Now, the lawn that I'm gonna be applying this to today is around about 35 square meters. So I'm gonna use that as my benchmark when it comes to working out how much of this I actually need. So I'm not gonna be putting the high five grams here per square meter. And the reason for that is like I've just said before, I've just applied some fertilizer to the lawn and that actually included some iron. So I feel like if I put five grams, it's gonna do more harm than good to the lawn. So instead, I'm gonna stick down sort of the low range and I'm gonna go with about three grams per square meter, which will mean I need to put about 105 grams of this into the knapsack sprayer. It does say here that you can actually double the actual dosage when you're treating moss, but because I'm not treating moss today, and I'm just after greening up the lawn, I'm gonna stick what the recommended dosage actually is. So before you start, a good pair of gloves is gonna be essential because you don't really wanna be getting this onto your hands. When it is dry, it's not gonna be too bad, but if it gets wet, it can irritate the skin. So 105 grams of this is what we're gonna need. I'm using a nice kitchen scale this morning to measure this out and a trusty tablespoon. This will be getting washed thoroughly before being used for cereal again. So let's measure out 105 grams. There we are, 106, no one's gonna die, I don't think. If you put 106 down instead of 105, and I'm gonna be applying the liquid iron today using the Oregon knapsack sprayer. Now you can pick this up from Amazon for around about 30, 35 pounds. So relatively cheap considering how good this actually is. Now the reason why I prefer a knapsack sprayer as opposed to one of the smallest of hand pump sprays you hold by your side is that you can keep a consistent amount of pressure when you're actually applying products using this. With some of the hand ones you have to stop, pump them, spray, then stop to pump them and spray again. Whereas what you'll see in a minute, I'm continually adding pressure when I'm using this to actually apply anything to the lawn. So what we need to do first is get a little bit of water into the spray because what you don't want to do is you don't want to put the soluble iron straight into the knapsack spray because you can end up with some really concentrated iron with the first you know, little bit that comes out of the spray and then you're going to do more harm than good to your grass because you're not going to get an even distribution. So there we go, we got a little bit of water into the knapsack spray which means I can now put the soluble iron into the spray without spilling any onto the patio, be as careful as you can. Maybe it's not a good idea to do this over a patio, maybe you should <laughs> use a stoned area, something different. So the iron's now gonna to start to dissolve, but as I put the rest of the water in, it's gonna mix it all up, get it dissolved really well. So you can't just put a random amount of water into your spray. Just say on here, you know, for watering cans, there's a specific measurement there, but for knapsack sprays, which is what I'm using today, you need approximately 20 grams dissolved into every liter of water. Now, because I put about 105 grams into the actual spray, 
I'm going to put just over five liters of water into the sprayer itself, which is going to be plenty to actually distribute this product evenly across the lawn. Now you can see on the side of the sprayer there are actually measurements to see how much liquid you've put in. I've actually gone over the sharpie because they are really hard to see, but I've gone just above the five litre mark. I mean, it's bouncing all over the place now because I've just moved it. But it's just more than five litres, which is going to be plenty to actually distribute the iron onto this lawn. Now, wearing the correct stuff is really important as well. So I've got some old trackies on, I've got some old trainers on, because anything this comes into contact with, it is going to stain. That includes any wood that's left around in your garden, any of your patios or any sort of like stones and things like that. So do this on a day where it's not really windy and make sure you don't get it on any of the other surfaces. Something. One thing I haven't mentioned yet is I've actually not cut this grass today. I cut it yesterday morning, so it's been about 24 hours since it had its last cut. It doesn't say on the packaging whether you should be applying this straight after a cut or not, or whether it's harmful or not, but I'm going to go for it. If it does any damage, it does, but you know, like I always say, no one's going to die. Now that's one pass across the lawn, but I'm going to go across this way as well, just to make sure that I've not left any spaces at all, because the last thing you want is big dark stripes with stripes that aren't quite as green. Now there's still quite a bit of liquid iron in the knapsack sprayer, so it's just a case of going over until the knapsack sprayer is empty. And there we go, the liquid iron has been applied to the lawn. Now just make sure that whatever shoes you were wearing to apply this product are not left on when you actually step down onto your patio because you'll end up with some nice iron stain footprints. And there you go, that's how you apply liquid iron to your lawn. Now it is a bit of a waiting game at the moment. It'll take anywhere from three days to seven days to really start to see the results of the liquid iron. But in the meantime, for at least the first 24, 48 hours, try to avoid pets and things getting onto the lawn because it can be irritable to skin. And also as well, you can actually end up getting staining in your house or in your garden as well. But the main rule of thumb is just wait until the grass has actually dried. Once the grass has soaked in all that liquid iron and the whole surface has dried off, you're okay to be walking across it as you usually would. Now, a bit of a disclaimer, you might see a bit of discoloring over the next few days, potentially, and that might be an indication that you put too much iron into your lawn. So if it starts to go purple, a little bit black in places, maybe there's too much iron that's been put down, but we'll see. And hopefully we put the right application down onto this lawn, and fingers crossed it's gonna be a nice dark green in about a week. Right, so it's been about five days now since we put the application of iron onto the lawn and so far it's looking pretty good. Now I'm not sure how well it actually picks up on camera but I can certainly say that it does look a little bit greener than it was the other day. Now I say a little bit greener because it didn't green up massively and I think part of that was because the lawn had only been fertilised you know a few days before and it was already looking pretty green and like i said earlier in the video there was actually iron already in that fertilizer but that doesn't mean it hasn't actually greened up anymore because it actually has and it's looking really nice at the moment so let's get on with the mower let's give it some stripes and see how it looks after a cut And there we go. I think from the look of the stripes, you can just see how well the grass has actually greened up after the application of iron. And if you'd like it to be an even darker green, like I said, on the actual tub itself, you can put a higher concentration of the iron down to your lawn, which is obviously going to make it pop even more. So thanks for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to give it a like. And if you'd like to check out any of my other videos, such as my garden renovation series or any of my lawn tip videos, then head over to my channel. And if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. Finally, thanks for watching.